so it's all right. I'll just do a part two. So Lockie, one of the brothers had called me, you know, but hey, we're going to get stay in the spirit, man. Get right back to it. All right. Um, not sure where I left off at, but I'll read this from the top again. Jeremiah 23. All right. Verse 23. Am I a power at hand? Said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashimi, I was shy and not a power of far off. See, the Lord is a power that's at hand, man. All right. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashimi, I was shy is getting ready to show that great power that he is. And the scriptures say, Verily thou art a power that hideth thyself, man. So just because the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is not talking to you, okay, from a thundering loud voice, or you actually seeing a huge fathership uh, 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 covering the sky, and, and the Heavenly Father saying, Stop doing that dumb shit, okay? Just because you don't hear the Heavenly Father saying, Look, don't go this way, I'm finna jack you up, you know? Nah, but, hey, man, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, He is, man, He exists. He is a power to be feared because he's there and you don't even know he's there, man. He's the omnipotent power, uh, omnipotent power man. The supreme Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the father of all spirits, man. The ancient of days is one of his titles, man. He has no beginning. He has no end. He's the father, man. Okay, the godfather, if you will, man. The most high, man. The almighty. Okay, it says, am I a power at hand set the far off and not a power? Uh, so like you. And my power at hand, said the Lord, and not a power afar off. Yeah, the Lord ain't afar off. It ain't hard for the Lord, the Alba Shemashah, to deliver you out of dire straits. You see? Because, hey, we got examples. The Lord delivered Daniel from the lion's den. The Lord delivered the three holy ch children in a burning, fir in a fiery furnace, man. Okay? And destroyed the nigga who put them in the furnace, man. <laughs> okay? All right, the Lord, hey, the Lord delivered uh, the disciples when they was out on the ship, okay, and in, in lacked faith in Yahweh Shai. And what he said, oh, ye of little faith, man. He didn't say, oh, ye that forgot the breakdown. Nah, man. Oh, ye, nah, the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is building up our faith, man. Okay? And not taking away from, uh, the, of course, man. But the, the, the point is, the faith is very important. That's what Yahweh Shai delights in, man. Okay, that's the connection that the elect have to the to the Lord is that faith. All right, verse twenty four. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Said the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Said the Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man. So Yahweh Shai is in full control. So now I want to go to Judith chapter nine. Okay, and this is a time where, okay, Yahweh Shai uh, pretty much uh, through the Spirit, okay, and power Yahweh Shai raised up uh, Judith in that time who was a widow. Okay, who lost her, you know, her husband uh, passed away. Okay, but Yahweh Bashim Shai looked upon her because she had great faith and used her, okay, to be a, 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 a to be the way for uh, Israel to escape, all right, at that time to be delivered from King Nebuchadnezzar in that time, man, the king of Assyria, man. And guess who was right there, okay, talking uh, uh, shit on the nation of Israel, pretty much bigging them up. Edom, uh, Edom, Esau, man, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, <laughs> all right, was next to the uh, uh, Moabites, all right, bigging up uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, all right, on taking down uh, Israel, but yeah, but what, Yahweh yeah, Shem Shai lifted up a standard, so this is Judah chapter uh, 9, Judah chapter 9, verse 11, for thy power standeth not in multitude, yeah, because what, they uh, uh, in that time, the king of Assyria, all right, King Nebuchadnezzar came with what? 120,000 uh, foot soldiers, man. Okay, and like 12,000 horsemen. Okay, and, and, and not to mention a company that were uh, with him at that time. Okay, so he came in his full strength. And that's what's getting ready to happen uh, uh, again. Okay, in this reincarnation, in this time, because Isaiah 59 and 19 says when the enemy come in like a flood. So this was a flood of troops, man. This was a swarm. All right. It says, what? Then the Lord shall lift up, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard, a way to escape. When you go into that word, a way to escape, put them to flight, man. I.e. spiritual power, divine intervention is what's getting ready to happen. The Lord is getting ready to unlock that ultimate code, okay, and, and, uh, for the elect. And we're getting ready to switch it up on you people out here through the Spirit of Power, y'all, by Shemel Shai. You're finna see a defense city, man. You're finna see a brazen wall, man. You're finna see a battle axe and a weapon of war. 
to breaking pieces the nations, man. That's the times we're coming into, i.e. the elect being the creatures, the weapons of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, indignation, man, on the right-hand side. Thus saith the prophecies. Judith chapter 9, verse 11, For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men. For thou art a power of the afflicted and helper of the oppressed. Yeah, so let's break that down. The power of the afflicted. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is the power of the affliction. Why? Because, matter of fact, let's get that. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. This is Isaiah chapter 48. Because how, how is the elect getting chosen? The scriptures say he will save the third part through the fire. He will bring the third part through the fire. What is that fire? The spirit to burning, man. The spirit of burning, man. Ch being chased by discipline, man. You see? All right? Going through the correction. Going, walking the, uh, the wall. Walking in the spirit. Uh, 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 taking on uh, uh, upon thy cross, man. Bearing the adversity. The scriptures say I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Because I have sinned against him. This is Isaiah 48, verse 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Judith chapter 9, continuing on in verse 11, it says, For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men, for thou art a power of the afflicted, and helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them, they're all without hope, man. Okay? Call all y'all about Shimei Al-Shai, man. A savior of those that are without hope. Matter of fact, let me get hope, let me hold this on deck because the scripture just came to my mind. In Isaiah the 30, I believe the 35th chapter. Isaiah 35, the spirit got me going there. Yep, spirit. Isaiah 35, verse 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. And this is what we're saying when we're doing these lessons, when we're going out to camp, when we're walking past uh, uh, the elect in our daily day life, whoever they are, who the Lord put the spirit on us to speak unto. Because the scriptures say this gospel shall be preached across the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. So we know we are this close to the end. It's like a few more, uh, a few more sands in this hourglass. OK, because. The prophets is everywhere, man. And a sign of this word getting out is look at on the look at the left hand. So if the left hand is showing the punch coming through, then that means what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai getting ready to manifest, divinely intervene with that right hand, man. Which I should have did like that, so like you. With that uh, uh, divinely intervene with the right hand, man. You see, and they getting ready to clap a uh, clash, and guess what's getting ready to get the victory? The right hand, man. Okay. Because the scriptures say, for strong is his right hand, man. Okay? So it says, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. And what? The scriptures say, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Vengeance belongeth unto me. See? The scriptures say, uh, 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 vengeance is burning in his heart. The day of his redeemed, his redemption is come, man. So the Lord is burning for this for this day. Isaiah 66 and 15, he burning so much, which the scriptures say in the Old Testament that the Lord is a consuming fire. He burning, he burning so much up that he can't wait to get back. That he cut, he bringing the fire. And what the scriptures say, what will I have already be kindled? So it's already gonna be sedition. It's already gonna be all hell breaking loose. But it's gonna be a way for us to escape, man. And we're asking the Lord to remember mercy in that fire, man. We're going through this thing. We're going th through Jacob's trouble like the three holy children, man, a fiery furnace. And we're hoping to come out on the other side, pure as gold, man. The scriptures say gold tried in the fire, acceptable man in the furnace of adversity, man. <clears throat> Continuing on, it says, be, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even Yahweh Shem Yashai with a recompense he will come and save you, man. And I believe wholeheartedly in that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, who's a so-called Negro, a so-called black man, all right? And he looked more like this, okay? He looked more like that than he do uh, uh, that, 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 uh, 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 that, uh, that white, that white sauce, man, okay? All right, that's how he would look, man. Not saying that's him, but that's how he would look, Okay? You know, through the spirit of power, he outboxed me outside, man. Right?
Yeah, that's how the Lord will look, man. A so-called black man. Okay? All right? Call all you how about me outside, man. Y'all, y'all about me outside getting ready to rain, ha uh, wreak havoc, man, on this place, man. That's how the Lord, all right, look according to the scriptures, man. Okay? So call all you how about me outside. Double honors to my apostles. That was a great millstone. Peace, love, insight, taste is coining. Well, I can, we almost out of here. Great deliverance is coming, brothers. Great deliverance is coming. The Lord promised us that in Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. Stay strong. Keep your faith. Shalom.